What's going on, everybody? So, I started working on some videos with the other 360 that I had. That's the Xenon motherboard, non-HDMI, that I had pretty much written off um, since I got the Pro to work. This one here. And that was already worth the price of that duo, but... Long story short, got that one to work, and I was going to water cool that one, started to do that. And then I ordered something, so I'm going to have to wait for that to come in. So I put all that aside, and I think it's time to get back to the Slim. However, I was putting this off because of the LEDs, and now I have another set of the 12-inch UV strips that I can use for this. However... Recently, at Walmart, I found these LED strips, okay, um, now there's two different ones, this one is $5, the other one is like $6.50, which is the one I have in here. It actually has the same exact remote um, as the lights in my car, so, yeah, this one has, I don't remember how many colors it said, but this one has more colors. And then this one here has less colors, but it is sound reactive. So I think I'll eventually put that one in here. Um, and this is actually the cheaper one, too. So, as you can see, we've got the Slim all back together. There's no water block or anything on it. I decided to put the original heat sink back on. You can see here the holes from the radiator. There's one, there's one there. So that's the only modification I had to make to this case besides this back bezel where we've got a hole here for where a tube came out. There's actually a fitting there. Um, so yeah, the reason I put this back together with the original heat sink on um, and the temperature display. One, I wanted to make sure all the wiring I did is correct. The only other thing that's not on here is the... I have a power cable for the DVD drive from another Xbox that's just a stock power cable, not the clear one that has a 3-pin connector connected to it for the pump. So obviously I don't need that, there's no pump on here right now. Basically I want to get some baseline readings for this temperature display. We've got our sensor underneath our heat sink right next to the uh, main chip there. So we're going to be able to get some good readings. I'm going to play on this for, you know, a little bit and just see what temperatures we get. And then we're going to break it down again, water cool it. Um, now it probably will look different than the copper edition that I originally had, which I had just finished and then went to just swap it over to this motherboard. However, we're going to change that a little bit. So first things first is this LED strip here. So it comes with like six feet, and it's uh, very thin. It has a back you can peel off to stick. Obviously this one, I just kind of crammed it uh, all the way around on the inside there, so. Because we're gonna take this back apart, of course, and then when I actually water cool it, then we'll probably actually permanently put it in there. Also, I put the temperature display upside down, but basically, our starting temps are going to be about 25 Celsius, 24, 25. Um, just idling, it'll probably, you know, get up to closer to 30, and then we'll see what it does. We're also testing this motherboard because obviously this is the new one, and it's a different style. I don't remember the names of the slim motherboards, but, um, you know, this is the one where the power for the HD, or the hard drive is moved over here next to the fan plug-in um, instead of up here next to the other SATA connections but yeah other than that it's not really different it still is just an Xbox but uh, I also have the clear front on here which I think I'm gonna stick with in the final build it's just I can literally run the LED strips through the front here there's plenty of room and it's just gonna light everything up it's gonna look really cool so yeah, as you can see, we're at 30, 30.7, and yeah, we'll play this a little bit and then see what we, what we get it to, and this will hopefully answer some questions too with, uh, you know, is it worth it, you know, does it make any difference, I mean, this system just isn't going to have a problem the way it is right now, you know, the slims just don't really have that kind of problem, so... 
is it is it necessary no is it worth it i think so i think it's the coolest thing ever and that is the main reason i do this stuff uh it still blows my mind to this day pouring water into an electronic and seeing it you know flow around through there so that's the number one reason any decision i make or modification is mostly going to be aesthetic first However, I still take my time to make sure I'm doing it in an efficient way. I should mention my first internal water-cooled 360, the red one with the stickers everywhere. That was not very efficient. It had one 2 by 40 millimeter radiator and a pump and like no reservoir basically. And so no, it probably didn't even keep it cooler than stock. But um yeah, it just looked cool. And then that's why eventually, after I had the big reservoir I installed on the top of it, and that's when I kind of learned more about, you know, you want to have the most volume as as you can fit inside the system in terms of fluid. The more fluid you have, you know, even if it's just extra tubing that does a loop or being able to fit a second radiator or, you know, reservoir, whatever the case is, the more fluid, the more heat dissipation you have. So... Um, and like this one, like I said, yeah, not the most efficient to have no fan on the radiator and just to have it over, um, this one here, which, wow, I couldn't even tell the fan was spinning there for a second. <laughs> it's so quiet. It's, it's still a Talos Moon Whisper fan, so it probably will be a little bit cooler than, uh, Slim with a stock fan, but, um, yeah, regardless... I didn't want to have a big fan and have this sticking out, you know, way out to here. I just thought having the radiator there, and yet yeah, maybe not be as efficient using this one to blow through this case and the radiator, but it's a big radiator. I had a big reservoir up here. Um, it would have been plenty to cool it down. So, anyway, looks like we're already at 40 on this one, so... Let's go ahead and play something and see how much higher that goes. Alright, so. This system was getting to like 50 once I got the game loaded and I was getting a little nervous so I shut it off and just did a little research. I know this is an older motherboard. This is, so I believe that's the Trinity. The other one I had was a Corona. And... When I had it all blue, basically exactly how it is now, just different LEDs. This big strip wasn't in there, and a different uh, temperature display. Otherwise, everything else was the same. And that would get up to like 44, 45, and that would be after playing for a while. You know, and this one was there, was going beyond that to like 50, just loading the game up, so I was getting a little nervous. But... Apparently, uh, someone else that had a Trinity on some old thread I was reading, they were saying normal temps, or at least what they were getting, was like up to 70 Celsius, which seems pretty intense for me, but I don't know, I guess that is normal. Um, see, I let it cool down a little bit, we're down, down to 37. I also noticed in the other motherboard, when I turned it on, the fan would do that, like, and kind of speed up and then settle back down. And this one didn't do that. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, it might have still had the stock fan. And maybe it's just this Talos Moon Whisper fan that does that speed up at the beginning. Because, like I said, you could hear it do that just now. But, all right. Let's do a couple races on here and we'll see what it gets up to. Alright, we are two races in on Blur. Kick some ass. So, uh, looks like it's finally starting to kind of cap off there, about 57.8, um, and then it kind of goes down a little bit, goes up. Uh, this room is about 70 degrees, so relatively cool um, compared to outside here. So, looks like that's kind of our benchmark. Now, that's definitely higher than I'd like, especially since I'm used to the other motherboard that would stay about 45 at most. So, now I'm really excited to water cool this. Um, 
Now we might still do the copper, you know, things, but I really just like this faceplate too much. However, the other one does have a cutout already to put the temperature display up here because it kind of is in the way over here. Um, however, this uh, display has the sensor plugged directly into the back and uh, that little extra just doesn't really, I mean even without that, the other one I had all the wires came out of the side and it's still barely really fit in there. So um, probably find a better spot for it either on the back side, you know, since it's a clear case I can just, as long as it's kind of held in place. Um, unlike it is now where it's just in there and the case together is just kind of holding it there but um, yeah we'll try to find something for it that sensor plugged into the back is a real pain but we'll figure something out so anyway thanks for watching this video um, oh before we go these light strips it is actually USB so, for how cheap they are there, I mean, they're great for just about anything. You can plug it into, even your stock system, you can just plug it into the front and, or even the, one of the ports in the back and just kind of put it behind your TV or something like that. However, you can also just cut off, like I did, the USB plug-in on the one end, and then you just have two wires, 5 volt and ground. And so we've got our LEDs actually plugged into the same splice as the temperature display into the 5 volts of the hard drive power cable. So that's going to power everything and then the only other thing I need is my 12 volts from the DVD drive for the pump. And with these LEDs I mean that's more than enough. I really don't even need this fan here but I want the clear fan. Maybe I'll take the LEDs out. We'll see. However I still like the blue theme because we got the blue uh, clear blue hard drive case, you know, blue fans, and the blue lights up front, so, anyway, this has gone on long enough, uh, next video, we will probably already take this apart, um, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I want to keep it together for a little bit, and keep playing on it, but, who knows, I'll probably take it apart before I go to bed, thanks for watching, have a good one. Like, comment, sub.